Hi, this is Federico with Cuddle, and in this video I'm going to show you how to make some stakes for labeling plants in the garden. Um, this summer we made a nice herb garden outside and I wanted to make some nice labels for it. So first I'm going to show you how I designed the stakes by combining some simple shapes, and then I'm going to show you how we can cut a bunch of stakes all at once, each one with its own label, and how that process is made easier uh, using parameters. So let's do it. So the first step is to make the basic shape of the stake. And what I want is something about the size of this uh, tongue depressor, which is one inch wide and about eight inches long. So I'm going to start by dragging a rectangle onto the canvas. And it's uh, one by one by default, but I want it to be eight inches long. So I'm going to click here on scale and I'm going to type 8 for 8 inches so that makes it uh, that makes it longer let me navigate here to show you where we are and now I want one of the ends to be a little spiky so I'm going to add a triangle at the end to make it sharp and one way to do that is to grab a polygon and make it into a triangle by making it three sides and then I'm going to rotate it, but I'm going to hold shift so the rotation is constrained to 90 degrees. Now I want to connect it to my rectangle and I have snapping turned on. And so I can snap the point of one polygon to the point of the other. And so I'm going to go like that. And now I want to stretch it. And here, similarly, I need to make sure that the points snap like that. So the point of the triangle snaps to the point of the rectangle. And that makes it the same uh, height. Now I'm going to stretch it sideways so it makes the point sharper. So I'm going to grab that handle, and stretch it a bit. So something like that is about right. Let me uh, zoom out so we can see it. And now we want to make this shape into these two shapes into a single shape. So I'm going to select them both. And I'm going to apply a modifier here. I'm going to go to modify and apply a Boolean union. So that effectively makes this shape into a single shape. And now to make it a, a little bit better looking, uh, you want the corners to be rounded. So I'm going to select it again. I'm going to go to modify and apply the round corners modifier. So that rounds all my corners. As you can see, the front end is a little blunt, which means I'm going to want to adjust it. So it's a tiny bit sharper. So I'm going to select round corners and I can adjust the radius of that. So I'm going to leave it at that. So it still looks neat, but it's still a little bit sharp in front. So the next step is to put the letters on it. So I can simply grab a text component from the left and place it roughly where I want it. I think I want it to be a little bit smaller, so I'm going to change the size. And I'm going to use my arrow keys to nudge it up. I want it a little bit towards the top, so it's a, it's, so it's a little bit offset towards the top. And in order to put the text that I want, I need to go to this text box. And then I'm going to type the plant, the first plant I'm going to label. So I'm going to do dill. I want it all to be uppercase. So, And um, and I think we could stop at this point. This is, uh, this is sufficient to start uh, labeling my plants. If I wanted to choose print or cut one at a time, I could simply go back to my design and then change um, the name for another plant like um, chamomile. It's a bit long. Um, but what I really want is to be able to cut a bunch of them at the same time. So here is where some parameters are going to come in handy. So I'm going to go back to Dill. And 
the first thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to rename my component. So I'm going to click here on component A, double click, and I'm going to call it my label. That's just uh, a name I just made up. Uh, and then the thing I want to do inside of my label is to create a new parameter by clicking here on the right where there is a plus and it says new parameter. And I want this parameter to contain the, the names of the different plants. So I'm just going to name it plant name. And so here's something to watch out for. Usually you would be using numbers for this type of parameters, but because we're going to be using letters, we need to use uh, quotation marks. So here's my list of plants. I, I have another one. So I want another one to be time. So as you can see, I have a parameter, then I want this parameter, the value of this parameter to go into my text box over here. So I'm going to select my text and what, I'm gonna, what I want to do is to sort of plug in this parameter into this text box. So if I were to simply type plant name, um, it wouldn't quite work. I would just uh, have a, a silly label name, plant name. But what I need to do is to stick this value here. And so in order to do that, I need to click on the three dots on the right and then edit the expression. And as you can see, it's surrounded by quotation marks, but I'm going to take them off. And so that way it is the sort of the variable containing the time value that goes into here. So at this point, it kind of looks like I didn't do very much. Um, but here's where it gets interesting, because I'm going to create another component. And what I can do is grab this my label component and drag it back into the canvas. And let me zoom out so we can see. Um, and then I can drag another one and another one, and they all seem to have the same name, but something I can do now, which is really cool, is that I can click on the individual ones and then change change that parameter. So I have another plant that would be oregano. I want them to be uppercase, so I'm going to go oregano. And then I have another one, a different one, that should be chives. And I have another one, so I'm going to grab it, the component again from the left hand side. And I have cilantro, so I'm going to change that here. Now let's do, let's do another one, I, I know you get it by now, but I'm going to do one last one just to show you. So I have a fun plan called pizza thyme. Pizza thyme. All right, so this is cool because now we can send them all to be cut. Um, but even cooler is I, if I want to change something in all of these without having to change one at a time, I can go back to my label component and say, click on the text. And I want to choose a different font. So I'm going to click on here and find a font that I like. Um, there is a font that I like very much called Rationale. So as you can see, it changed the font on my main component. But if I go look at the other ones, like all of them got updated with that same font. So I can make changes to choose the component and they all uh, scale and they, they all go down the line. And then the last thing I want to do before I go cut it is I actually want to change the color. So I'm going to scroll down while I have the text selected and I, I'm going to give it a fill something some different color so i can so i can try different settings on the laser cutter okay so now i'm going to go cut some some of these so i can show you the results and if you have any questions please leave them in the comments there is going to be a link where you can go uh, make some changes to this project yourself you can change the plant names or the font or the look of the stakes and uh, thank you for watching so i cut a few
using the same file, except I changed some of the settings when, when cutting. So most of them I cut through the letters, which I think is a pretty cool look and is fairly fast. Um, some of the fonts might not give you exactly what you want. For example, the O here is missing the center, although that almost looks like a design element. So that's about the font choice. Um, this one is uh, scored, which uh, goes pretty fast, and I think it creates a nice readable label. And last, this one is engraved. The appeal here is that you get a nice indentation and a darker font, so if you have the time, that might be for you. <laughs>